Welcome to the Kohava Show. I am your hostess, Kohava Latham. We bring you today our topic discussion, corporal punishment of children, physical punishment in the form of child discipline, such as spanking. You are spanked on the bottom with open hand, switch or paddle, does not leave extensive bruising, does not result in bleeding. There you go, how hard can it be? We're discussing this topic as it pertains to an epidemiological study, face-to-face -face survey performed in the United States, conducted from the University of Manitoba, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Now this is an epidemiological study. Mm -hmm. And the problem with epidemiological studies is that you never know if, it's, if, it, if the association is causative or not. The study was recently published in the official journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics. The leading author, epidemiologist Tracy Afifi, purposed to convey that physical punishment is linked with mental disorders. What she's saying is that, wow, these kids that were pushed and shoved and slapped had a slightly higher incidence of mental illness than the general population. Uh, it doesn't really prove that the pushing, slapping, and smacking caused it, but there's an association mm -hmm. there. Personally, I'm surprised it wasn't higher. 32 countries have outlawed child spanking. For behavioral disturbance, we're talking about children hitting, children talking back to the teachers, right. mm -hmm. uh, vandalism, um, expulsion rates, for example, have increased 10% in the last three years. Mm -hmm. Expulsion from preschool and kindergarten. What we're going to focus on today is child spanking here in cultural America. Here in the United States, there are state-by-state -state legislations with restrictions and guidelines on child spanking. It's legal to physically punish your child. If we take away from parents the ability to discipline a child in some fashion, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think that that's going to help us as a society in, in the U.S. in terms of our culture in terms of what we're trying to do to promote in our children a value system that's going to really be fruitful to the child. We have the child protection law, we have these, these forensic interviewing protocols. Mm -hmm. We have the tools to manage the abusers, mm -hmm. whether it be emotional, social, or emotional, psychological, or sexual. Mm -hmm. We have those tools in place. Mm -hmm. This is a really heavy topic. Corporal punishment, think about what it's there for. Fine, see? You do that to me. How does it feel? How does it feel to be told to shut up? We've talked about it. Let me speak. How does that feel? Do not. How does that feel? Do not. Put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? No, I asked you a question. You know what? Shut up! Clearly, this was not a mother-child relationship. This was like the relationship between two siblings. That is indicative of the level of respect. Mm -hmm. He put himself on the same, they were on the same level. Mm -hmm. There was not respect. When you have a 12, 13, 14, 15 year old child who's physically slugging away at mom or dad because they don't want to do mm -hmm. what, what mom or dad directs them to do. And they're so oppositional that they actually start fighting with the child. Mm -hmm. I mean, a parent has to, has to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. An undisciplined, strong-willed child uh, can be very, very troublesome. Did you grab a knife one time and chase your mother? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Call me nurse. The discipline, however, with a strong-willed child, the discipline we apply has to be strong enough to mean something. The value systems upon which this country were found are not the same value systems that exist Today. It's no small matter uh, whatsoever. And I think that consequently the question of discipline has, has been eroded. Who's doing the spanking in the home? Who is the disciplinarian in the home? We have to keep, uh, keep things in perspective in our household. If you survey people 50 and up, 
uh, what I'm finding is there's consistency among, among, it was not like this at all. And people say, well, what's causing it? Is it because we're not spanking anymore? I think that's part of it. It feels good to hit your mother? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Clearly, what you see here is you have some very disturbed children. Don't want to be here, you. Don't want to live with you. Guess who want to kill you? I hate mama's birthday. If they had been given adequate discipline at a younger age and had earned and th their parents had earned the respect of the, th that child, mm -hmm. you would not have seen the severity of the acting out that you did. We're going to talk with the chief of pediatrics, a psychiatrist, a child advocate attorney, a mental social worker from Child Protective Services, and also a spiritual care provider who will give views on biblical principles of raising a child in contrast with anti-spanking. When you get your kid to respect you, you're giving them a gift. It's important, it makes life better. You're in for a real educational treat. Don't go away.